the power of the tiny. I was out on my daily walk the other day and my eye was riveted by these tiny flowers whose plant was draped enticingly over some river rocks and a wall. Unexpectedly, as I admired these precious flowers, I was overcome with emotions of beauty, poignancy, and reverence. These tiniest of flowers, perhaps because they were so perfectly formed and because they were so tiny, beckoned my attention and involvement so thoroughly it seemed like they were these miniature magicians hypnotizing and mesmerizing the giant body stooping down to have a look-see. There has been much fervor lately in nerd circles about the quantum physics research that may definitely and definitively prove that physical natural geometries are indivisibly and invisibly connected to human consciousness. Oh. Or, to be more precise, human consciousness is a part of an ocean of conscious intelligence actively creating and expanding into geometric matrices underlying all physical creation. My emotional experience with these tiny flowers seemed to subjectively prove to me that no matter the size reference, the underlying morphic field or energy matrix expresses itself infinitely and timelessly through every category and perceived class of physical matter. There is no true division between big and little, no true difference between our emotional states and what is created from them, no actual separation between me and you. All of it is a great big ball of interconnected and interdependent energies. Oh boy. In fact, in other new research, it was found that emotional states directly change physical matter, proving the illusion of separation between what we feel and what we experience is the great veil eclipsing our direct experience of the divine. The perception of time tends to throw us off and obscure this perennial truth, yet when we can step back in mindful allowance, the truth behind the illusion is inescapable. In the ancient practice of non-duality, the perception of opposites is discovered to be a manufactured point of view that we use to define and separate groups of things from other groups of things. Apparently, uh, and traditionally, this is for the purpose of playing a game, or more basically, having the ability to perceive. You know, without dark there is no light, without vacuum there is no form, without ignorance there is no knowing, without forgetting there is no remembering, etc., etc. In fact, the observable universe can be seen as an unimaginably huge generator powered by the infinite energies created from nothing to something, or as a vacuum into an atom, as presented by the zero-point theory of energy generation. As is clear in the practice of non-duality, there is infinite multiplication from zero to one. It is the supreme dynamo of creation itself. And we have that ability within our being to bring forth something from nothing. It is the function and destiny of consciousness, ever expanding, ever ramifying, ever evolving. From the enormity of the greatest galaxy clusters to the tiniest of flowers on a rock, there is no escaping the truth of our own power of creation. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.